everyone, Robin here with MyPinkStamper.com and today I have a video using our new Carousel Birthday stamp set. So I made this card already for a swap and I'll post the pictures at the end of this video of all of the cards that I made. I used a couple different patterns from the, um, I don't even have the name of it, I'll have it on the screen. This is the paper pack that goes along with this stamp set. It coordinates with it, um, but I used a couple different designs and it all has the same color theme in this whole paper pack. So I pulled out some of those colors and I love how this card turned out. I hope you guys enjoy it too. So we'll go ahead and get started from the beginning. What I've decided to do this time is I have my full sheets of cardstock and I'm just going to cut them down and I'm going to make two of the card that I'm showing you just to show you how quick and simple it is. If you're making one, you might as well make two. And just it just takes probably the same amount of time, maybe just a minute longer. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get my stamps, put them on the blocks, and the stamps that I'm using, I'm going to use the horse here, and I have it on block D. I love our blocks. If you haven't tried our clear acrylic blocks yet for our unmounted and our photopolymer stamps, you will love them. They're nice and heavy. They have grips for your fingers and the corners aren't sharp. So if you're worried that your children are going to accidentally throw them at each other, which sometimes kids do, they're not going to get poked as bad, right? <laughs> because there's no sharp corners, which I hope that doesn't happen. But I've, I've had toddlers before and sometimes things fly in your house. Okay, I'm also using, I love when your birthday comes around. And I have also shown this um, carousel birthday stamp set on one of my previous cards that I demonstrated just a couple weeks ago or last week. And for this one, I'm using block number H. Okay, number <laughs> block H. I don't know where, if I, if I say number sometimes, you know what I mean, right? Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside and let's go ahead and Let's start with the big shot work first. And these are the colors that I'm using. So I'm starting with very vanilla uh, cardstock, and it has a smooth finish. It's just like our Whisper White, but it's vanilla. And I thought these colors were more neutral tones, and I didn't. I, th I thought the white was a little too bright. So I'm pulling out the very vanilla, and I am using, these are the stitched shaped Framelits. These will be available January 16th. They're still on back order, but they should be back in stock shortly. Okay, so I'm going to put this through one time and then I'm going to do it again. Because I told you we're going to make two cards today. My best friend Carly is on her way right now. She's only about an hour away from my house. I'm trying to get this up because once she's here, I'm not sure what I'm going to have time to do. So I wanna get, get ahead of the game a little bit. All right. Okay, I have two of those now. I'm using the next size up and I'm going to use it with the Early Espresso cardstock and I'm pulling out my Stampin' Trimmer and I'll show you in the next segment. Well, you'll get a better look at it. I'm just going to cut this to five and a half. And then I'll put it on here, the Early Espresso cardstock. And I'm going to also cut this twice, just run it through. And we'll do it one more time. I really love this color combination. I've been using the Watermelon Wonder so much lately and what I'm finding is Watermelon Wonder, the last card I did I used it with our Peekaboo Peach and today I'm using it with Bermuda and Early Espresso. There's just so many different colors it looks beautiful with. Okay, so I have these and I'm just going to set them aside so I'll go ahead and cut my paper. So my Bermuda Bay cardstock paper. This is the eight and a half by 11. And if you cut it in half, you're going to be able to make two cards. So this is my card base. So I'm going to cut it in half. 
and it's all ready to go for my two cards. And now I'm using this for my layer. And I want this to be five and a quarter by four inches. So I'll just cut it at five and a quarter. And I will set the extra aside. And then this side, I'm going to cut at eight inches or four inches. If I had my little arm out, I would just do eight and then four twice. So I'm just gonna cut it four and four. And now I'm going to take some of this paper and I think I'll just use this top pattern right here. It's just so fun. It has all of the colors that I'm going to use. And I want this cut at five and a quarter. And oops, trying to get that down up there. Okay, five and a quarter. And I'm going to cut it two inches and two inches. So I'll just cut it at four and six, or four and two. Four and two. This is enough to make three cards, the amount I just cut. Okay, set these aside. And now all we have to do is stamp and put it together. It's a very simple card, but it's just striking. I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and get our ink out. And our two on our two stitched circles we are going to use Bermuda Bay and we're going to ink up so this is our clear unmounted stamp we're going to ink this up and anybody can do this if you've been kind of lurking and watching my channel and you're thinking I'm not sure if I can do that oh you totally can do this anyone can stamp super easy to do that's all I'm doing on that piece and then on these pieces here, the two pieces of my Watermelon Wonder cardstock, I'm not sure if I said that earlier, but these are Watermelon Wonder. I'm going to take my Early Espresso ink pad and I'm going to ink up the same. And I'm going to stamp it right here. I love when your birthday comes around. I love that saying. So I have my stamping done. So that's all the stamping. That wasn't hard at all, but it still looks strikingly gorgeous, fun, and bright. This card can be used for pretty much anyone. I don't feel it's feminine. I feel like you can use it for anyone that has a birthday that you know. I'm just going to fold the Bermuda Bay in half using our bone folder. And then I'm gonna grab some of our snail adhesive. And I'll go ahead, do you see how it's just super fast just to do two, two instead of just one? I'm just going to, oops, got a little ink on there. I'm going to put this on here, ta-da. And I'm going to add this here as well. And the next thing I'm going to do is take my pieces of the patterned paper, the designer series paper, I wanna say it's called Carnival Fun, but I'm not sure. I'll have the name on the screen like I had said. I'm going to just add this here, and this isn't exactly in the middle, it's kind of down a little bit. Just add this, and then I'm gonna take my adhesive and put a little bit on the back of my little horses, and just put these on here. And now I'm going to turn these over for my final step and I'm going to use some of our dimensionals. These are fabulous. They, they give it a little bit, they're called dimensionals because they give it dimension. And the um, accent now pops up off the page a little bit and just peel off the backing. Okay, and now I'm going to add my horse just right here. So you guys love it, I do, I think it's so cute. I'd love to hear what you think of my card. Don't forget to leave a comment. They mean so much to me and I read every single one. Okay, so here, is, here are my cards. Some of my cards from this stamp set and this design with the different background 
papers. And um, I will see you all over on MyPinkStamper.com. All of the supplies used to make this card are in the description on this YouTube video or over on MyPinkStamper.com. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.